So what is going on guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, thank you all again for tuning in to another video, I appreciate it an awful lot, you guys are awesome. Anyway, so Nikolai, as we know, is going to Stalingrad for DLC 3, a place where he fought in his original timeline. And if we look back to previous DLC 3 maps we have had, Shino Numa, Buried, they have all been very important maps for our zombie storyline, and as we know from what Jason Blown has told us, DLC 3 is going to be a massive and the most important zombies map in our storyline so far. And for that reason, in this video, I want to take a look into the history of Nikolai and try to find out what we can be seeing in Stalingrad. To do with the Easter egg storyline, Nikolai himself, because he is a very important and interesting character. His background may even be the most interesting out of the other three. And since we're more than likely going to be getting the trailer anytime soon, Treyarch, come on, give it to us. I bet it's going to be this Tuesday. But then again, I said that last week. And by the way, you guys gave me awesome support on my The Truth About DLC 3 video. If you haven't already seen it, definitely check it out. I thought you guys would enjoy it. And you gave me some awesome feedback. So anyway, let's get straight into the video. Enjoy. Now we already know from Rick Toffin's notes where exactly we're going in DLC 3. That is Stalingrad, now known as Volgograd, Russia. In fact, if you put the coordinates into Google Maps, it will take you over to this specific location on screen. Now you can see we have the city just on the outskirts next to the river. And these are the exact coordinates that Rick Toffin's notes take us to. But for the coordinates we had on Rick Toffin's note for the eyes and Drache, we knew those coordinates took us about two or three miles from the actual location, which was half on wharf and castle and i've tried to research what important events buildings or things happened in this specific location during 1945 around that era i couldn't really find anything in this specific coordinate but as we know from previous maps like the eisendracher the exact location of where dlc3 is going to be taking place could be a couple of miles from this exact coordinate so we don't get a specific location as to where it is but we get a general idea. As for important statues, things, you know, buildings, memorials, stuff like that that we had during 1945 in Stalingrad, the one that comes up the most is this. It's known as the Barmley Fountain. On screen now, you can see the original fountain in 1942 Stalingrad. After World War II, the fountain was restored, but later removed in the 1950s. The statue is of children holding hands and dancing around a crocodile. When the crocodile swallows the sun, darkness descends on the earth. All of nature, plus animals and people, began to suffer without the sun. The children then decided to save the earth by asking the crocodile, whose name was Barnley, to restore the sun to its normal place. But this very much reminds me of the children on our story right now. In Origins, we see them both Samantha and Eddie. It's almost like those are the ones who are in control. Those are the ones who control our fate. Those are the ones who can save us and give us eternal power almost. And similar to the statue, we have the children dancing around the crocodile. They try to save earth, humanity, and all of the animals. But no, it kind of reminds me of these children. Since this is really the only important monument I could find that was around during World War II. I think it could make an appearance in DLC 3. It could play an important part to the Easter egg. And as you know, in pretty much every map we've had so far from Shadows of Evil to De Eyes and Drache, even before that Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, we've had little teasers of what the next map is going to be. At the end of Die Rise, we had the cell doors closing, which was to give us a clue that the next map would be Mob of the Dead. In Black Ops 1, when we had the loading screens, the next ripped off page would have been the next DLC map. Map. Shadows of Evil, we had hints towards the eyes and Drache. So far, I've really seen nothing in Zetsuba no Shima to indicate as to what our next DLC map is going to be. But if you take a listen or press X or the interactive button on the trees in the starting room, you will hear children playing. They seem to be laughing. I think that possibly could be indicating towards DLC 3, towards these children. As I said, DLC 3 is going to be a very important part to our Zombies map, revealing a load of characters, a load of new information, storyline. I think Samantha and Eddie's roles in DLC 3 are going to be a lot bigger. We're going to be hearing a lot more about them, maybe even specifically from them. Which again, I think may link into the statue being part of the Easter egg. And we couldn't really find too many other things we could possibly be seeing or relate to DLC 3 around Stalingrad. We do have the Motherland Cole statue. Though it wasn't unveiled till 1967, we do have interdimensional convergences taking place in our storyline right now and that if they use that if Treyarch want to use that then I suppose we could be seeing this statue in DLC 3. Again it's just little things to build off and get an idea of what the map is going to look like. Now we know Stalingrad was one of the bloodiest battles in history. We have a cipher in Zetsuba no Shima that is from Gersh. It says my name is my name. My name? Oh yes it is Gersh. How long have I been floating? Minutes, years, where is now? I guess I can forgive Yuri. I quite like my new form. 
hmm, where am I now? A city on fire by a river. I know this place. Finally, I am home. Earlier, I showed you the specific coordinates as to where Richthofen's map takes us, and it is a city of Stalingrad by the river. This exact location as to where Gersh, his soul, is floating about. This is Gersh's home. It says a city on fire by the river. More than likely, during World War II, Stalingrad is on fire. I think we may be seeing an appearance from Gersh in DLC 3 as well. Maybe we have to return his soul into his body or into a body. Just leave that cipher there right now. I want to come back to it in a second. Another cipher tells us of the four test subjects highlighted in Report 44, one of the brothers has died before we could reach him in the battle. The other is still at large in the city. I believe this cipher is about the dragons that were created and resurrected by Division 9 for Group 935. They've escaped from the facility and it seems like one of them or two of them went to Stalingrad to fight against the Russians for the Germans. As the cipher tells us one of the dragons has died, the other is still flying around in the city of Stalingrad causing havoc. Now we know dragons breathe fire. Going back to the previous cipher which Gersh tells us, he says the city is on fire. We can guess at the time as to when Gersh is there, this dragon is flying around breathing fire causing the city to light up in flames. Which more than likely means when we go there, not only will we be seeing Gersh, not only will we be going to Stalingrad, this city by a river, but it's also gonna be on fire. A dragon flying around in the sky, causing damage to the city. Now we more than likely know we're going to get to interact with this dragon, maybe even control it. Not only that, but another cipher in Satsuba no Shima, we believe is from Victor Reznov. He says, Comrade, I hope these schematics reach you in time so our scientists can make use of them. For I know the Western Front is on the brink of collapse. The schematics I have stolen from Group 935 will enable us to construct our own wonder weapons which will help us to turn the tide of the war and give us victory over the German pigs. I fear, however, I will not live to see this. V. V, the initial, the only character I can think of that would make sense is Victor Reznov. Although we've never really had him involved in our zombie storyline, yes, we've had his steps from the campaign in Origins. He's had little hints there and now, but he hasn't made an appearance. I also think in DLC 3, we are going to be seeing some more information about Reznov. If not, how awesome would it be if we actually got an appearance? Now, we know Victor Reznov was a Russian. He was a squad leader of the Red Army. Keep that in mind. No, his father was a musician in Stalingrad. He says the rotten cancer of the fascist Reich ravages Europe like a plague. The relentless drive into our motherland steals the lives of men, women and children alike. The arrogance of their leaders is matched only by the brutality of their soldiers. These are the darkest days of the Nazi occupation of Stalingrad. Viktor Reznov was in Stalingrad in the 1940s. He fought in that war and died in Vokuda in 1963 at the age of 50. He says, I hope these schematics reach you in time so our scientists can make use of them. For I know the Western Front is on the brink of collapse. The schematics I have stolen from Group 935 will enable us to construct our own wonder weapons, which will help us turn the tide of the war and give us victory over the German pigs. I fear, however, I will not live to see this. Like we said, he's speaking about how he fears he won't live much longer after he writes this. As we know, he did later die in the 1960s. He says he's stolen some schematics from Group 935 and he's given them to some Russian scientists. And what Russian scientists do we know in our zombie storyline and can relate to DLC3? That is Gersh and Yuri over in Ascension. We know they created their own wonder weapons and I believe it was actually the Thunder Gun that they created. So it looks like Richthofen stole some schematics, some blueprints of the Thunder Gun from Group 935 and has sent them over to the Russian scientists at Ascension, which would explain more about the Thunder Gun. I do believe this cipher was by Reznov, and I do, we will be seeing a cameo of him in some way in DLC 3, which is very exciting. That's all I have for the ciphers. But as we know, Nikolai is the protagonist. He is the main focal point. He is the reason why we are going to Stalingrad to kill his O1 version. But what exactly is he doing there? In what way are we going to find him? Into Eyes and Drachel, we see Dempsey is locked in his pod and we turn off his life support. And Zetsuba no Shima, Takio is locked in a cell below the waves. He is being experimented on by Division 9. He has turned into this giant mutated thrasher. And as we know, Richthofen just comes out to the teleporter and kills himself. But in what state are we going to find Nikolai? And I believe he is a prisoner of war in Stalingrad. We know, and this is not relating to our current zombie storyline, this is in a different universe, but Nikolai was exiled from the motherland. He became notorious for killing his wives, Stalin, 
basically got scared of him or got afraid that people would, well, like Nikolai more than him in simple terms. And so he dropped him from all of the ranks and put him straight onto the battlefield where Nikolai was forgotten about. And I think just like the Emperor did to Takio, maybe Stalin even set Nikolai up and he later on became a prisoner of war where we are going to find him in that state in Stalingrad. I mean, who knows? Now, between the two world wars, Nikolai was actually a carpenter. At one time, he either lived or worked on a pig farm. And we know he's had many, many wives, but his family and includes a sister who he says he hates, a brother-in-law who he also hates, a daughter who was actually noted to own a teddy bear and a brother who was homeless and broke. And if we go over to the Nikolai's Memories teaser trailer, he speaks about how he wants to return to his family. But I think in DLC 3, we're going to be learning a lot more about Nikolai's background. It says in this regret can consume a man so deeply that it will blacken his heart and swallow his soul. But it seems like all he really wants is safety for the children and a better future for them. In terms of weapons, the PPSH, Nikolai's favorite weapon, I totally expect to see return in DLC 3 at Treyarch. If you are listening, we need the PPSH back, arguably everyone's favorite weapon. It makes so much sense. It is a Russian weapon. It is Nikolai's favorite. It is everyone's favorite. The PPSH should be coming back into Stalingrad. And honestly, I totally expect to see it. But there was something interesting that Nikolai said in the giant that I just want to quickly touch upon before I end the video. When did you last check? We were allies in all three world wars! He said he has taken part in all three world wars. But we haven't had three world wars. We've only had the two. Since Nikolai was born before the 1900s, he would have been around during World War Ton, uh, World War One, sorry, and we know he was around during World War Two. But what is World War Three? I think it may be something personal to Nikolai, not an actual world war. Or maybe it was. Did it take place in another universe? I think Treyarch and Nikolai may have been hinting towards something in the future. And this World War 3 that Nikolai speaks upon, we may be seeing something about that in Stalingrad. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you found out something new, then drop a like rating on the video. I only ask because it takes two seconds and it really does mean a lot to me and shows that you guys are enjoying the videos. Make sure you subscribe for more Daily Zombies content. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Pray for Treyarch in the comments. Goodbye, guys.